My mother was an inspiring soul, always there for those who came to her with their troubles. Her home was open to everyone and hospitality made everyone feel important. My mum, all my friends loved my mum almost as much as I did. She became Auntie June to all of them and never failed to make them laugh or feel at home. She was the most loving, humble, compassionate, understanding, family-oriented woman who was one of the most beautiful souls you could ever meet. She taught me love, patience, endurance. In addition, she taught me how to pray and lead by example. She praised me whenever I did good and pointed out my mistakes with a gentle voice. She encouraged me to work hard in school and on the sports field. Mom was an incredible sportswoman. Whether it was hockey, swimming, golf, or polo, she knew what she was doing. She always challenged me and pushed me when it came to sports. I can still hear her yelling on the sidelines, darling, what are you doing? Tackle her. She always motivated me to do the best I could and not to be scared. She taught me to be strong and to be gentle too. Mom loved listening to Boys to Men or Michael Jackson and I'd always surprise her whenever we were in the car and I'd play their songs and she'd respond with, how do you know this song? We would sing and laugh and joke everywhere we went. She also loved Nollywood, movie, well, <laughs> Nollywood films, something I, never could never, something I could never understand exactly. She enjoyed a good cryptic crossword every morning with a cup of tea, and though I tried to help her almost every time, I never seemed to get the answers right. <sighs> Mom was a good chatter, which is where I think I got it from always updating her with the latest gossip at school and what was going on in the media. Even if, even if she didn't care, she always listened. Mom was a great artist, and I discovered this out while rummaging through her stuff and came across her old notebooks that she had in secondary school. Her love, her, her love for art reciprocated through me. She kept all my little drawings and doodles I did for her. Though they weren't the best at the time, she still encouraged me to take it on further and pursue my passion for art. And now I'll just do a poem. Um, if roses grow in heaven. If roses grow in heaven, Lord please, pick, Lord, please pick a bunch for me and place them in my mother's arms and tell them they're from me. Tell her that I love her and I miss her. And when she turns to smile, place a kiss upon her cheek and hold her for a while. Because remembering is easy, I do it every day, but there's an ache within my heart that will never go away. Mama, I promise to be strong and to be proud, to make you proud. You did so much and more and all for me. I'm so happy you are now with your own mama, Kuka, Kogo, your brother, and your best friend, Uncle Pachi. I will miss you more than anything. And if one day I'm able to be half the woman you are, I will consider myself very lucky. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paula, for reading your tribute to mom. May the Lord strengthen you. On behalf of the brothers and sisters, uh, the tribute shall be read by Major Retired Philip Moy. Welcome, sir. <laughs> 